Hi, my name is Daniela. I teach, I write, I advise on design. Design is my passion. Design is everywhere. Design improves our lives, defines our taste, and determines our surroundings. It can even broadcast who we are and who we aspire to be. Here are my latest thoughts on design. It is hard to believe, but in 1821, America already had its first playgrounds, and there were no more than just sandboxes. New York City led the way, opening the first municipal playground in the country in 1903. Playgrounds have changed tremendously since then. The traditional formula of slides and swings is no longer the only choice. Now, playgrounds are being created by design stores who provide new experiences informed by contemporary design sensibilities. Playgrounds have become a design phenomenon. These brilliant spaces of great ideas instill discipline, foster creativity, and stimulate independent thinking. One masterpiece is the Diana Princess of Wales Memorial Playground. It opened in 2000 at Kensington Gardens, next to her palace home. It was designed by a firm called Lent Hughes Consultants. The playground was inspired by the story of Peter Pan, encouraging kids to explore and follow their imaginations. It even features a full-scale wooden pirate ship that children of all ages can climb aboard. The Imagination Playground in the South Street Seaport is one of my favorites, designed by the architect David Rockwell, founder of the Rockwell Group. Among the firm's notable projects is the stage design for the 88th Annual Academy Awards Ceremony. And let me tell you something, Rockwell's Imagination Playground is so much more than a playground. I couldn't resist asking my cousins Dean and Ronnie to show me what they think is fun. It encourages children to create to design their own play space out of loose, independent parts that stimulate them to reconfigure their environment. Like in his restaurants, here too Rockwell reinvented a design idea. His playground doesn't have jungle gyms, monkey bars or swings. Another one of my favorite playgrounds is located just next to the farmer's market in Union Square where I shop for veggies. This playground is covered with colorful checkerboard rubber tiles instead of the traditional gray asphalt. The design incorporates landscape, trails, trees and bushes within the play areas. It features some really special elements not typical of playgrounds, but ones that encourage kids to stretch their imaginations. The metal dome is meant to have kids figuring out how to climb on the top. It's amazing that in this age of cell phones, Skype and texting, the low-tech tube still has the power to fascinate kids. Some of the new playgrounds demonstrate breakthrough play space concepts, which give a wholly new dimension to the community. Take the kids to the playground. It's smart, it's healthy, and it's all made possible by design. <laughs>